All right, all right. Uh, I realize I start every video by saying all right, all right, but Matthew McConaughey over here, maybe. I don't know. Uh, here we are. So uh, I'm Travis. Um, I run the Modern Bay Company. We do Subaru conversions into Volkswagen Bay Window buses. Um, 1968 to 1979 buses. And uh, what these videos are for is giving tech tips uh, to help you DIYers out there, um, or for those of you who are my clients, to help you understand a little bit better of what we're doing, how we're doing it, why we're doing it, uh, that sort of thing. So today's wrap is all about these little guys. Um, how's that look? Eh, maybe? <laughs> no? It's blurry, sorry. Well, it's this. Um, it's called the Air Assist Injector. Not Jector, almost said Jector. Um, it's called the Air Assist Injector. So this little guy goes right here on the motor. Uh, and I've got a small pile of them. I buy these uh, brand new OEM from Subaru. Um, actually, all the sensors I use on the motor OEM Subaru stuff. That's just the way that we work here. Um, but it goes right here. And uh, this funky little guy has a very specific function. So a lot of people, when you're doing conversions, you're like, oh, do I need this sensor? Do I need that? Some stuff you don't need, some stuff you do. Um, so I'll go ahead and say this. For you DIYers out there who are really on a budget and uh, don't care about things like trouble codes or emissions or, or getting better gas mileage, you don't need this, uh, technically. You can run without it. Your computer might bark at you, might give you a check engine light, um, but it's not gonna be the end of the world if you don't run it. That said, uh, here, I like to do everything as, uh, I don't wanna say as by the book, but as um, correctly as possible, perhaps, uh, the best way that we can. And so we do uh, have the Air Assist injectors installed, or we install them. Uh, we buy brand new ones, like I said, from Subaru for this. And what this guy does is under certain conditions, uh, whether you're at a low idle, especially um, cold, like shortly after you start up idle, or whether you're at, at speed, um, you know, on the highway cruising along, the air assister injector, yeah, that, the AAI will do that. The AAI um, actually will activate and introduce more air to the base of your injectors. Um, so it, it, it shoots air, shoots air, just shoots it right through uh, to the base of your injectors. Um, swirling, creating a swirl effect at the base of your injectors with more air, creating a slightly leaner condition, um, which is actually good because it helps both your fuel economy and it helps your emissions. So especially if you're like in California or now Colorado that has stricter emissions, it's a good thing. Um, and if you like the environment, that's always, <laughs> always great um, to, to have better emissions uh, for one, but also it helps your fuel economy. Uh, so those are two main reasons why you want this air assist injector. Um, and the other one is, you know, which I mentioned earlier, if you don't have it and you're not emulating it in some way, uh, then your computer, your ECM is not going to be happy. If you use um, the little uh, scan gauge, ultra gauge uh, units like we do, it's just going to beep at you and be like, problem, problem. Um, it's usually a code P006566 or 67, um, which indicates this is malfunctioning. Um, and that's just annoying. <laughs> no one wants to drive like that. So, um, so we replace them. The other thing we actually do, or, you know, that I do on all of our builds, um, because we, um, uh, reverse the throttle body, which you have to for doing Subaru conversion in bay window buses, um, the stock configuration for where this hose meets the throttle body no longer works. So I create a custom pipe, um, that goes, I don't know if we can see this that well, but it goes right under here and it's going to connect right here. Um, so that uh, it connects where it needs to on idler control valve uh, assembly and on the throttle bottle, throttle bottle, yeah, the throttle body assembly up here. So um, that's like a, a custom little piece we do. You don't need to make it all snazzy and you know make it you know perfectly bent uh, piping or anything like that. Uh, you can use you know rubber hose. You know if you're DIYing it out there and you just need it to work, that's fine too. Um, we kind of like to make it um, you know clean and, and beautiful. So. Um, so that's the wrap there on the air assist injector. Uh, for a while, that thing just confounded me. I didn't really know what it did, what it was about, uh, if we really needed it. And these sensors, uh, if I remember correctly, they're like 150 bucks. They're not cheap. Um, so I actually have a bunch of these used on the shelf. If you're not doing uh, a build like this and you want to use one, give me a shout. I'm happy to sell you one, happy to send you one. Um, otherwise, just make sure you do pay attention to it in your build so that um, your engine's happy, you're happy, everything's going smooth. Um, and that is 
that's the wrap on Aerosys Injectors. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.